okay we are starting with the next topic decomposition reaction in combination reaction you remember there was combining there was two reactant and that is forming into one product now in decomposing there will be only one reactant and that will be break down into two or more products so that is the basic definition of decomposition reaction the reaction in which a single reactant breaks into two or more products with the help of heat light or current so there are three ways in which we can decompose a reactant to form into two or more products so the first method is heat okay when we are using the method of heat that method is known as thermal decomposition thermal means heat okay and if it is with the use of light light is means sunlight sunlight ki use se kar rahe hai to uska naam hoga photochemical decomposition now how the name photo came okay whenever we are saying sun energy it comes of packets of energy okay this packets of energy is known as photons okay from that photons word the photochemical decomposition arises okay now the third one is current okay when we are using current to break down a reactant is known as electrolytic decomposition so there are three methods thermal is through heat the second is electrolytic that is through electricity photochemical decomposition and that is through the sunlight so these are the three methods we are going to discuss in decomposition reaction so let's go into the first one thermal decomposition so as said earlier itself in this thing we are using heat energy heat energy to decompose the reaction in which heat is given to break down the reactant is known as thermal decomposition so we are using heat to break down the reactants to form two or more products so we'll go into the activity okay now in this thing first thing is cell ferrous sulfate crystals okay now what do you mean by crystals crystals is a thing which are having water quantity attached to it okay now if you take a uh, washing powder washing powder if you take it okay it is also having a 10 h2o okay it is also having h2o fixed to it okay you cannot uh, feel the water in it but water crystals are water is attached to that material okay so that is known as water crystals so here also ferrous sulfate crystals jab bhi crystals ho to uske sath dot hoega dot h2o will be there now here it is how many h2o is there 7 h2o is there okay remember this formula so ferrous sulfate crystal okay jab bhi ferrous sulfate crystal ko crystal hai uske sath 7 h2o uske sath attach hoega jab usko apne heat karenge obviously whenever you heat it what will happen the water quantity will be evaporated okay so here also what is happening uh, ferrous sulfate is formed and the water is what evaporated it is in the gaseous form okay look here ferrous sulfate it is in the solid form as it is written here okay now after this okay when ferrous sulfate is again reacted again means heated more what will happen it will be turning into what ferric oxide it will be turning into ferric oxide and also with that it will getting sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide okay so remember first it was there ferrous sulfate crystal ab usko heat karoge okay whenever you are heating ferrous sulfate crystals okay it was in green color at first okay written here it is green color okay heat karoge to pehle usko ferrous sulfate mein convert hoega uske sath h2o hoega ferrous sulfate is basically it is colorless okay then ferrous sulfate again when it is heated okay it will change into ferric oxide which is in brown color okay and also we are getting sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide and this is sulfur dioxide and trioxide is having what pungent smell okay there is a, there is a change in the smell so characteristics of this will also be changed so green color is changed into brown color remember that too. so we'll look in the uh, look in the activity decomposition reaction it is a reaction in which a single compound decomposes into two or more other substances aim to observe the color of the ferrous sulfate crystal after heating requirement ferrous sulfate crystals boiling test tube burner and test tube holder activity take some ferrous sulfate crystals in a dry boiling test tube note the green color of the ferrous sulfate crystals heat the boiling tube over the flame of a burner and observe the color of the crystals after heating 
we can observe the color of the ferrous sulfate crystals is changed and the characteristic order of burning sulfur is observed. 2FeSO4 gives rise to Fe2O3 plus SO2 plus SO3. In this reaction, ferrous sulfate crystals, FeSO4, 7H2O, lose water when heated and the color of the crystals changes. It decomposes to ferric oxide, Fe2O3, sulfur dioxide, SO2, and sulfur trioxide, SO3. So we understood that. Okay. So uh, first ferrous crystals were there. Water was removed. So ferrous sulfate we ob obtained. Now ferrous sulfate may say, up nature or heat here, those may say ferric oxide, sulfur dioxide, and sulfur trioxide. So in this reaction, you can observe that a single reactant, this is a single reactant that is breaked into two or more products. So this is known as a decomposition reaction. Heat is used so that that is known as thermal decomposition. Now that is, this is the inference. Green color ferrous sulfate crystals, FeSO4.7H2O, lose water when heated and the color of the crystal changes to brown when it is ferric oxide and also characteristics order of the sulfur. Characteristic order, yani order is the smell. Okay. Now, it decomposes to ferric oxide and sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Okay. Ferric oxide is solid while SO2 and SO3 are gases. So that is about, that is the first example. Okay, to the next example. Now we already know that what is CaCO3. You remember CaCO3? Yeah, later on first we have learned that what CaCO3 is limestone and it is having a characteristic of what marble is. A marble's formula is also what? CaCO3. I told you that the shining surface. Now when calcium carbonate, okay, CaCO3, when calcium carbonate, it has been heated. Okay, when calcium carbonate is heated, we are getting what CaO and carbon dioxide. So it is uh, when we are heating a limestone, we are getting quick lime and carbon dioxide. CaO, apko yaad hoega lime. I have told you that it is also known as in Hindi usko bolte chuna. Okay, so calcium oxide is quick lime. Its other name is calcium oxide. In Hindi, it is stored as chuna. Okay, so calcium carbonate heated, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Now this uh, quick lime. This quick lime, jo hai, quick lime is also used in the manufacture of cement. Okay, so this is an important point. Okay, which is the uh, right the reaction to make uh, to make the manufacture to, which is used in the manufacturing of cement. So you have to basically write this equation. Okay, so decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide heating is an important decomposition reaction used in various industries. Okay, so basically, when in a, in nature we are getting limestone naturally. Okay, so from limestone only we are making quick lime and carbon dioxide. Quick lime basically. Okay, then next activity. Okay, now look at the bottom side. Okay, this this formula, this equation is very important. Okay, PbNO3. Okay, we have learned it earlier itself in the second uh, second activity. We have learned it. Okay, we were mixing what uh, lead nitrate and potassium iodide, yellow color we are getting. You remember that thing? Okay, I hope you are remembering. So the same lead nitrate, okay, when we are heating lead nitrate, okay, we are getting lead oxide, nitrogen oxide, and nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Okay, so lead nitrate, when it is decomposing, we are getting lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. So we are getting uh, lead nitrate in a boiling tube holding the boiling tube with tongs over a flame okay so lead nitrate powder okay this powder on heating decomposes to give brown fumes okay so the color of the fumes so jo vapor aa rahe hai uska color jo hai brown color hai uh, of nitrogen dioxide which are pungent smelling pungent smelling and a bahut strong hai okay we cannot hold that smell for a long time that's why and we are getting lead oxide so it is the basic characteristics of nitrogen dioxide Okay, it is having a brown fume and it is having a pungent smelling. Okay. So let's look into the activity. Formation of nitrogen dioxide by heating of lead nitrate requirement. Burner. Lead nitrate powder and tongues. Activity. Take some amount of 
lead nitrate powder in a boiling tube. Hold the boiling tube with a pair of tongues and heat it over a flame and observe carefully what will happen. We can observe the emission of brown fumes. These fumes are of nitrogen dioxide 2 pb NO3 twice gives rise to 2 pbo plus 4 NO2 plus O2.